So I have to ask because we saw your face after your goal. Right there. Uh, Were you surprised that it went? Yeah, I mean, I it's not my game, so <laughs> it's nice to score, <laughs> especially like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Were you really going for there? On net. Yeah, on <laughs> Maybe it goes in. So, <laughs> and it did. So that was it. Um, well, for something that's not your game, it sure looked like it. Yeah, yeah it looked like I knew what I was doing, right? <laughs> Every now and then. Saturday. How much fun have these two games been with this younger squad? A lot of fun. Winning's fun. Um, they play pretty hard, and right now, I mean, it's simple, hard game. Uh, guys, they can all skate pretty well. So, as long as we limit our turnovers, I think we can continue to play this way. So, it's pretty fun. Yeah, and, and what have, like, yeah, obviously you have a plethora of experience and NHL, AHL, but what has your role in particular been in these last two games is you're still getting acclimated to the systems here. Yeah, I'm still getting acclimated, but uh, just help helping out where I can with the with the younger guys. It's more just bringing positivity and teaching them that, you know, mistakes are going to happen. Just let it go and go on to the next play. With how young this team is, is it pretty impressive to see, you know, a five-goal night now it's a seven-goal night? Yeah. You know, young roster? Yeah, that's not... That I, you know, that's not normal. Um, it's a lot of fun to win that way. Um, so, you know, ho hopefully in the one goal games we can play the same way and not, you know, clench our sticks and get all tight and then make make mistakes. But uh, you know, it's going well right now. Were you wondering what this year would bring? Yeah, I mean, in the it, yeah, in the summer. No, I mean, or now, even last last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I took that tryout with the Rangers. Uh, I mean, that happened, and I pretty much went right there. Uh, so it's not like that had come along. Um, and then this, like I was sitting around for a couple weeks and just trying to stay in shape and skating. And, you know, mentally it's pretty taxing. But, um, you know, you're just trying to remember once you start playing, it's going to be – it'll be awesome again. So Yeah. Did you think <laughs> – or were you concerned there might not be a chance or knowing oh, yeah. knowing the league that yeah. people are going to get hurt and whatever is going to... No, I was definitely... I mean, that's going to creep into your head at some point. Um, it's not, you know, it's not easy to keep it out. Um, but there was definitely times where I was like, well, I might be done. What were you going to do? Were you thinking? Okay, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not ready to put No, I want to keep playing. I mean, I still got my legs under me, so I'll play till till I say no. So was saying he finally got you. Yeah, yeah, he recruited me way back in the day, um, and I picked a different school. So thankfully, he doesn't hold a grudge. But <laughs> you know, maybe maybe I should have played from back then. He seems like a pretty good coach and a really good guy. So you know, I, I don't know. Came full circle, and we're here now. Speaking of experience and you know what you bring, what what does your experience bring to this team outside of games, like in practices and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, especially in the AHL, a lot of the development comes from practice and just building consistency. Um, you know, when I was a younger player, I was I wasn't very consistent, so um, learning that I think is the biggest part. Because especially with these kids these days, I mean, they have so much skill and, and everything like that speed they can all stick handle shoot whatever so it's just bringing that every night so i think the more they can learn you know suck some days going to do it but just like we're here for two hours just get it done and then we can go you know turn your brain off would you say that's more your goal is to teach this season rather than you know maybe be the main guy and go out there and score every goal no oh my goal is always to play play well i mean i want to be i was i still want to be the guy i mean i think once you kind of lose that edge, then you know you're not really a player anymore. So you know, as long as I have that, I'm, you know, I still want to be a guy. Whether it happens or not, who knows? But you know, that's where I'm at. Yeah, just one for me. Uh, you know, uh, Matt. Uh, obviously, uh, any job's an opportunity. But uh, are there any sort of ingredients that you were looking for with an opportunity um, before this did come up uh, that you really felt were important if you're going to sign somewhere uh not especially being closer to home's nice mm -hmm. um so you know now that i'm older i don't feel like going to playing 
California or something like that. So maybe that a little bit, but nothing, nothing really special. Um, you know, obviously coming here, it happened so fast. I didn't know much about it, but um, I think it turned out really well. Just with the <clears throat> kind of culture they have here from the coaches down, it seems like a really good group. So I'm happy about that. And what was your impression just coming in from the outside of kind of the personality of this club and, you know, collectively what they are? Really positive. Um, uh, and I, like I said, I think that comes from the coach because I've had some coaches before that are, you know, it's just like negative Nancy every day and it, mm -hmm. it wears on you. Um, and then a good group of older guys here that are all on board. I mean, it's just, it seems like a really good group. 